How are you guys? It's a long way from Fenway. But today in Salem, former Red Sox pitcher Kurt Schilling told a crowd he wants to run for U.S. Senate. I think this is a country now that represents almost nothing of the things that I believed and, 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 and grew up believing. This isn't the first time Schilling has said he wants to run against Massachusetts Democratic Senator Elizabeth Warren, but he says he'll only do so in 2018 if his wife gives him the okay. Don't you have to make the decision? Though? Yeah, I've already made the decision. I want to do it. But I need my family all in. As for the here and now, the Red Sox Hall of Famer made this stop at Donald Trump's campaign office in Salem to rally Granite State volunteers on the billionaire's behalf. New Hampshire is the bellwether. Every election, no matter how big or small a state is and how many electoral votes are given, New Hampshire sets the tone. But when asked, Schilling steered clear of apologizing to Rhode Island taxpayers. Schilling moved his video game company to the state in 2010 in exchange for a $75 million loan guarantee. But when his company went bankrupt less than two years later, taxpayers in the Ocean State were left on the hook for tens of millions of dollars. What do people want me to apologize for? I, I didn't do anything malicious. I didn't do anything illegal. Schilling faulted the government for giving him the deal in the first place. And he asked the crowd to take a chance on a government led by Donald Trump. Donald Trump can rub you the wrong way just because he's so damn confident. Schilling, by the way, was fired from his job as an ESPN baseball analyst earlier this year after he posted comments on Facebook critical of transgender rights. He now has an online radio show.